happy Tuesday, Kingdomonians. Happy, happy Tuesday. Today is March 26, 2024. Thank y'all so much for coming over here and spending the Tuesday evening with me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it, y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. I just want to give a huge, huge Shout out and thank you to all of my new Kingdomonians. Thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the kingdom. I hope you, that you love it here to all of my returning subs, y'all. Thanks for the love and replay gang. Run it up. Do your thing. And y'all, before we kick it off, I just have to say that Mimi's commentary is for entertainment, teaching, educational purposes only so don't try me, yada, 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 right? Um, all for entertainment purposes, let me um, let y'all know that again. And I just want to thank so, I just want to thank y'all so much for coming over into my live and checking me out. Thank y'all so much. It's 46 of y'all in here. Please remember to like the live on your way in the dough. Hello, everyone. That's what Phoenix Jewel said. L2B is in the building. Sean Thompson was First, hey Sean, Melissa Henderson is here. Charday, Andy's World, Lady T Bug, Sweet Life Twenty Two, Black Love Two Ten. Hey Brett's Doll, Taka's World is here. Hey Colleen, where you been? And I ain't seen you in the chat. Where you been? Isabel is here. Mira, Mira on the wall. Timani Seventy Eight, P Lee, Lexis Art. Lexis Real Life, excuse me. Elma is in the building. Did I say Isabel? I think I did. Hey, Ezra's mom, Paula Denise, Cynthia Bird, Lisa's Lair is here. Hey, Woman of Wealth, Nakia Harris, Corrine is here. LaShawn Terry. Hey, Callie. Hey, Life with Sheridan, tripping with Melissa. Sherika's in the building. Cassie, Mrs. D, did I already say candy? By Jasmine is in the building, Derricka P, and a slew of others. Thank y'all so much for tuning in for another live with Mimi. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. And I just want to say that, y'all, we've gained... Um, more subscribers. The people have been nosy. I noticed that my subscriber amount went up. Um, the needle moved a little bit. Um, so thank y'all so much for that. I don't know if it was because of my most recent live stream that caught the people's attention or I don't know, but um, anyway, the kingdom is not for the soft baby. We some savages over here. Um, they savages in my chat. The Kingdomonians is off the chain. Off the chain. Hey, pretty life, pretty wife. Hey, Southern Belle. Um, I love y'all too, woman of wealth. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, baby, we try we cleaning it up over here. But my Kingdomonians, they really is some savages, baby. So y'all oh, know me, me don't mean no harm. I'm gonna let y'all know right here, all the content creators, because I'm trying. Mimi don't mean no harm. That's my kingdomonians that be doing that. That don't even be me. I be over here just saying little stuff and yeah, yada, yada, yada. But it might, it be my kingdomonians in the chat. They the ones really be putting 10 on pump two. And no, I didn't throw y'all under the bus. I didn't throw, Lady T-Buck said the kingdomonians are some big steppers. You hear me? The biggest, big sisterology. No, you didn't agree. See, this is what I be saying. This is what I be saying, y'all. Y'all going to see, y'all ain't going to be satisfied. Baby, y'all going to get me mixed up in some old nasty uh, beef or something. Y'all, y'all, y'all just, y'all just, y'all just love to start. Like, that's what it is. That's what I figured. Y'all just love to start. And guess what? I love that. No, I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we got some shit. Sugar honey iced tea to talk about. Sweet life said, Mimi, you be throwing us up under the bus. Um, uh-uh, not you know. I just really be up here playing, but somebody, if y'all know, I'm gonna go outside about y'all. Somebody get to talking down on my kingdomonians. I don't I don't care. It's gonna be subscribers against subscribers, baby. The kingdomonians, yeah, we with that. No, I'll just play. <laughs> Cassie Harris said they be acting up. Cassie, you be in the chat acting up too. Don't do that. 
Uh, Big Sisterology said, especially Lima. Oh, why would you break Melissa up? Why would you do that? Who oh, Lady T Buck said, big, big, where? What's big, sweetie? No. Y'all, good. Now, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Hey, Tay. Hey, Trey Lee. You love it here? I'm happy that you love it here. I appreciate that so much. That just really made my day to know that you love it here. I love when y'all tell me that y'all like coming over here. Y'all, we already know that I do talk about um, different content creators. I have my tops that I talk about and all of that. Um, now, y'all, some of y'all be here for the dragon for one and not the other. But y'all, it's just, baby, just... Y'all, I'm just giving y'all my raw opinion and all of that. I don't mean I don't want nobody to take nothing to, to heart. I don't want nobody to lose sleep over nothing. I don't want anyone to take anything to person. Well, I guess it depends on the person. But at the end of the day, um, as long as we could come together and have a healthy dialogue about it, that's what I love the best. But if you come over here, and baby, you don't want to have healthy dialogue. If you don't want to be healthy, if you want to be on that Gina Janine and not be healthy, just want to act like it, then yeah, we're going to do what we need to do, right? I'm just playing, y'all. We some sweethearts. Let me stop rambling. So, y'all, there was quite a few things that went on today, honey. Um, Look, y'all done been knocking my doors down. Y'all done told me. I, I've heard about the Gina Janine idiocy over there. That ain't even a damn word. I done made it up, baby. I done heard about all of that. I done told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all that Gina's an idiot? I told y'all Gina's an idiot. And I told y'all Gina does things for shock value. What I will say is Gina, girl, we did a members only live. We watched one of her recent vlogs. And I missed Gina's entertainment. I really did. Um, girl, I missed all of the carrying on and all of that. I really did. I missed it. Um, Gina came over here. I guess she said, um, I haven't been up. Girl, I need to try to get these likes up. I need to tell the people some shit just to try to get the, them to um, engage with me. I told y'all, Gina, that it's all for entertainment purposes, but I'm going to tell y'all like this. I'm, I'm Now, y'all look, all of Gina's content is all for entertainment purposes, but some of her thoughts over there, them is her real life thoughts. Them is her real life thoughts over there. Scary, right? Uh, Harlem said, no more open bar unless y'all hit that like button. Um, let me find Lady T Bucks comment so I could pin it. Oh, shoot. Um, y'all been coming over here telling me what Gina said this, Gina said that. I told y'all, baby Gina. Chum. Baby Gina gonna um she gonna she gonna say some any damn thing. Um so, y'all, I think what we're going to do, let's see, before we get off into everything that we need to get off into, let me just tell y'all like this. Um, y'all know I like to start off with small talk and all of that. So, let's talk about a topic that I'm sure, Gina, if you in here, niece, we're going to start off by talking about your favorite person in the world. Because this popped up. Um, no, it didn't pop up. Somebody sent this to me in my Instagram DMs, and then I went and looked, and I, I went down a rabbit hole. So, Gina, niece. I know you've seen that your idol, the person that you aspire to be like, your inspiration, the reason why you you around here uh, trolloping around and all of that. I know you've seen Ari Fletcher did the, um, the ceiling challenge over there. Gina, Gina, let me tell you, niece, don't do it. Don't you dare. Get up on them people's kitchen island and attempt to do any of that. Do you hear me? Gina, don't you dare. Do, what you seen Ari doing the ceiling challenge? Gina, don't. We don't. The taste said, leave it alone, Gina. Gina, I know, girl. Now, Gina, this is what I am going to tell you. Girl. Um, I'm not going to pull it up, y'all, because I don't know how. Um, yeah, I'm trying. I'm not going to pull it up. I was, but something told me not to. So I'm going to listen to my first mom. And I'm not going to pull it up. Uh, Brittany said the ankle will give out. Uh, Gina, this is what I'm going to tell you, niece, because I know you be over here, Gina. And Gina, if you want to do the challenge, this is what I want you to do, niece. I want you to be you flat footed. Stay on the ground. Don't get up on the people's counter. Gina, don't go get in the, don't over, don't go over there to YMCA's pool. 
Don't put all of your arm bags on each one of your arms. Gina, don't attempt to split. We're going to know if you attempted to do this, this, this challenge. Because we ain't going to hear from your ass for a couple of days. And then you're going to come back up here limping and all of that. Then we're going to know something to damn happen. Uh, life, baby, uh, life with Shamika Shante said, don't threaten Gina with a good time. You hear me? G niece, Gina, we don't want you to do it. Now, Ari broke the net, the internet and all of that, Gina. We know you've been over there watching it, all of that. We know you You asking, Wolf, when you come, Wolf, come on. When you come, come on, pull, pull this old nasty wig off, but not too far because of the braids underneath. Don't ever be maintained. Uh, baby, Brittany said, don't do it if you don't have insurance. <laughs> uh, Gina might have insurance, though, y'all. I don't know. Gina might have a little bit of insurance. Who the hell knows, right? Um, girl, we may come back over there and see. I don't damn know. Let's continue on. Did y'all happen to see um, Kyra? Kyra did a review on Beyonce's sacred hair care line. Did y'all see it? Um, I'm not going to pull Kyra up either because, uh, I think I had fell asleep. Uh, Kyra was over there reviewing, um, girl, she was over there reviewing the sacred hairline, hair care line. I guess that's what it's called. And baby Kyra, and I said, Kyra, niece, you got, you got heat damage going on over here, niece. What, what, the, take the what and leave the what? I said, oh, niece, do they have anything to help with the, with the, 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 the damp girl? Y'all, baby, she had heat damage going on. I said, now, I wonder if Beyonce got anything to help the heat damage. But the girl who was doing her hair, the, the beautician, she did say, I know y'all noticed that she got a little bit of, uh, yeah, going on. I said, oh, girl, the strands was just down there. And I seen it. Did y'all get to see it? Let me see. Nope. Kyra is on a healthcare journey. I don't watch niece, niece, unless she in the kingdom line up. Whew. They don't watch you over here, niece. So you know what? This is what I'm going to tell you. Kyra, if the kingdom owners don't watch you, niece, let's just say you safe. If the kingdom owners don't really watch you like that, you know what I'm going to do. Next damn topic. Um... Up next to that, because I know what y'all came. I know what y'all came here for. I know what y'all came here for, and I got it for y'all, right? But y'all know how I do it. Did y'all see Glamazon Tate? She was on a podcast called "The Rich and Unemployed." Did y'all see that? Let me see if I could pull up a little clip for y'all. Um, I already had Gina queued up, but let me go to. Girl, she was over there laid out on that couch, and oh, uh, girl. Looking oh so cute. She's been doing her big one. Um, she's been on a lot of different uh podcasts and all of that. Why is he already over here playing? Um, y'all didn't see it. Y'all don't be seeing nothing. I be seeing what's wrong with y'all. What's y'all good? Here she go right here. Um, we're just gonna watch a little bit. We're not gonna stay here that long. Uh, we'll probably do like 30 seconds of it because I don't I don't know how they give it up over there. Um, I really don't. Uh, we won't be here that long. Um, Often, but like my younger days, I'm not kids because I was fucking a lot. Now, oh shit, I forgot he be cussing. <laughs> you eat pussy? Uh, uh, damn! I forgot how they give it up over here. Chai, chai. The, 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 bye! Forgot how they give it up on this podcast. I mean, Y'all didn't hear that. YouTube, you didn't hear that. Child, the man can't be monetized. He can't be. But y'all, this is what I want to talk. This is what I want to talk about. Oh, y'all, hold on. So hold on. Let me send this text back. Um, this is what I wanted to show y'all. Y'all see how um Glamazante, baby, Glamazante is serving a look. Yeah, finna get us banned. Sure, I'll watch him in peace. Man, I hate that. Um, y'all, y'all see how I love Glamazante's Glamaz 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 hello outfit with this little wig, baby. She was just laid back talking about how to attract. I think how to attract a man, a want a woman or whatever. Cause um, yeah, that's her preference. 
But um, if you're interested in seeing what she got going on, it's on the Rich and Unemployed podcast. Have your earbuds in it. Don't have no kids around. Because, baby, this ninja over here, he's a wild one. Ooh, Sweet Life said, Mimi, your shock always sends me. Good. It sent, sent you. Sent you. Sent me. I didn't know he was going to give it up like that. I really didn't. And I met him about that. Um, let me read to money to money said Tay Tay is doing it big in Atlanta. Kudos for her. Um, let's see. It's 406 of y'all in here. Y'all remember to throw the thumbs up on your way in the building. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. And y'all also, y'all know we got a full, I don't know if we got a full kitchen or not. What we got going on in the kitchen, somebody said that we was in our healthy girl era. So we was having day old uh, uh, Chick-fil-A um, kale salad and all of that going on in here. Um, girl, it's been some other interesting stuff to talk uh, that I want to talk about. But um, baby, I hope you don't think you know bully. I'm going to hope that. I'm going I'm to let y'all know. Don't worry. I got y'all back. I'm going I'm to let y'all know. I'm going to cue y'all in. As the damn story develops, right? So what we can do, um, let's see what else we want to go. Somebody said Wolf is at Waffle House making hog plates. Um, It's the Risa Tisa vlogger. Who? Who's the Risa Tisa vlogger? Risa Tisa over here? Uh-uh. No, she on TikTok. You want me to pull up to... Oh, you talking about Peyton? <laughs> Peyton good at the good at call you, Risa Tisa. There y'all go. I First of all, I didn't say it. Good girl, I, breathe. Thank you, Lar. I did not say it. Relax. Come back. Big mama, your arm. Just stop. I ain't said it. <sighs> Y'all over, y'all over, y'all messy. Why y'all do that? That ain't even what I'm talking about. Y'all, yeah, as the world turns. Y'all, I think we can just go ahead and probably get off into Gina Janine. Um, I did not watch Chelsea. Um, I clicked on and I clicked the hell. Uh, Angel Wobble, who say what? Um, T baby said, T baby said, Peyton says she got a new man in her IG story. Okay. I mean, the, the men, the men are out there for you to get, right? I mean, we, what do we expect? Like that's life, right? That's, that's fine. I mean, okay. Um, so, Hey, who got some little feet? Y'all know what? We just gonna have to wait. Um, let's let me see, let me see, let me see where we finna go. How long we've been on here? And then I know what we got coming up next. 18 minutes. We ain't really even been on here that long, right? Sweet life, you love reporting over here. Sweet life said damn Peyton said she got a date. Uh, hold on. She said she damn, my mind's as quick as hell. Wait a minute, where it go? Baby, the mods is quick. The mods, y'all drank y'all a Celsius? Sure. The mods is quick. Marsha, please, y'all. They said she want to see the Marsha. I know y'all came up because y'all want to talk about Gina Janine. Um, And we're going to talk about where well, we're going to get off into the controversial part because that is the part where y'all won't let me breathe. Y'all want to talk about it. In the breakup video, she said she had him on the lined up. Oh. Uh, um, okay. Okay, well, you stay stay tuned to that and then let me know. Tag me in when I need to be tagged in, okay? But, you know, dating and all of that, that's nothing out of the norm. The, the single women and single men, they going to date, they going to meet up, they go to the, baby, they going to do the, 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 all of that, baby. That's, that's, that's nothing, right? We don't. That's what I expect these single women to do to date. Now, if it's with a purpose, I don't know, but I expect them to date. So, backpack, 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 ankle swole, I'm out of control. I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, backpack, 
backpack, backpack. Knee is swollen, my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. Gina, put 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 this foot first. Yeah. Gina, yeah. put 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 this foot first. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Brittany. She should. Yeah, see, if single women, if that's what they, look, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Date. If that's what you want to do, single women should be out here living their living best life. If that's what they hearts so damn desire. Right? Um, yeah. Sean. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, because I got some stuff that, that is really entertaining to me right now. Forget all that, baby. Um, girl. We're going to go over here to Gina Janine's channel um, and see what Gina... Hi, the brighter view with Roz. Let's get on over here and see what Gina Janine got going on, girl. Gina... Now, this is what I want to say. Why y'all been over there um, wearing Gina eye? This is the thing that I want to know. The people over there in Gina's comments just, y'all know how Gina is, niece. Y'all already know how Gina give it up. I'm mad. I'm mad at y'all for being mad, like, or being not mad, but like shocked, surprised. Uh, because why? Y'all know how Gina give it up. Gina is for entertainment purposes, and then is a little bit of bird brain, in my opinion, mixed in with that, right? Yeah, just in, 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 in my opinion. Uh, we know how Gina is. I will tell y'all, and y'all, y'all could fight me later on if y'all need to. Um, Tay said it was not us, Mimi. It was oh, it was the BBBs. Mm, 149. The people be wanting me to beg them for likes, like they be begging these men to go on dates, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm not thirsty for y'all likes tonight. I'm in a good mood. So I ain't going to yell at y'all for not getting my likes up. And what was I saying? Because I got sidetracked. This is why I can't be off in the comments like that. Um, let's just jump right into Gina. Oh, this is what I was going to say, y'all. Um, Gina done lost some weight to me over here. She lost weight. Now, y'all can fight me if y'all, y'all can stay behind after the live ends. Meet me in the back of the kingdom if y'all want to get y'all one, a uh, one-on-one -on -one with me. But Gina has lost some weight over here. Um, I'm starting to see it. I seen it when she had them jeans on. Um, Melissa said, tell <laughs> She did, right? She's, I mean, yeah, I love that for her. If that's what she's trying to do, lose a little bit of weight, girl, you doing it. Let's go on over here. First of all, let me speed her up, niece. Gina, is you one of them, niece? Is you one of them? Mm. Sure. And then, hold on, y'all, before I jump off into it, some of y'all love to be, y'all be crying, talking about, why you don't play the whole video? Why you don't play the whole video? Move your banner. Move that picture off the screen. No. If y'all want to see the whole video without interruptions, go over to whatever content creator I'm talking about, who is Gina, go over there and watch it in its entirety, and you ain't got to worry about none of my uh, gifts, memes, or none of that being pulled up. Now, let's go. I have my coffee, so it's going to be a great day, okay? <laughs> she said, I got my nasty-ass coffee, so it's going to be a damn great day, Sean. If I can get the gym in today uh, early enough, uh, then be even better. Nice. Um, oh, baby. I want to get a little bit of editing done. Baby, like, go hold gym. on. And I have a bunch of phone calls to make because I have a bunch of appointments to make. Hold I have so on. many. Y'all. So, so, so many appointments. First, the hell of all, Gina's... I, didn't I tell y'all this before, but yeah, it's already starting, baby. Didn't I tell y'all before that Gina puts everything before the gym? And I even said in one of my previous lives that she thinks of any excuse not to go through the gym. Hence the reason why she was over there, damn, uh, in her other vlog, boxing and all of that in, in her room, trying to do a little whatever workout. I told y'all any excuse. Any excuse not to work out. She's not good. Where's her robe? I don't know. But one thing about it, I don't play like that. Sure. I can't be doing all that, baby. Here we go. I need a dental appointment for me and the kids. I believe. Uh, I need a dental appointment for me and the kids because y'all been on my ass about about the about uh these braces. 
Um, I need a dental appointment for me and the kids, a.k.a. Uh, I know y'all been telling me that I need to go take the kids to get the braces. I know that. So I need to make a dental appointment. Why? It ain't a dental appointment, uh, niece. It's ortho. The dentist and ortho, them two different uh, specialists, right? Um, so you need to make a dental appointment for you and you need to make the ortho appointment for whichever kid needs the braces, right? Um, y'all been over there weighing Gina out about the, about the, you bought another Chanel purse. Where's the braces? Uh, you bought another Hermes, uh, uh cuff link. Where's the braces? Where you went on another trip? Where's the braces? Gina said, I'm sick of that. We finna get these damn braces taken care of. Do you hear me? Leave it's time for my well woman exam. I think they haven't sent me a reminder, but I feel like it's time. Um, I think it's time for my well woman exam. They haven't sent me a reminder. Hence, I leave my health, uh, my health in the life and in the hands, well, in the computer systems of the healthcare professionals, in the in the the software of their computer systems. However, whatever I'm talking in the circle, y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm putting the responsibility off on them to contact me, now, Gina. We girl, Gina, now niece, we know that you're actively dating. And we know sometimes the girls do get a little bit, Gina. Weren't you just telling the girls that about popping two uh, two plan B, two plan Bs, and all of that? Did you have to take two plan Bs? Because if you had to pop two plan Bs, that led us to think that there was some actual um that it wasn't safe, that the doors was unlocked when you was over there doing what you did to get you in a position to possibly have to take two plan B. So that meant that we need to know when we need to get over there to get our well woman. So we need to know when we need to call our doctor and say, hey, 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 what's that song? I had to switch them out with it, girl. When we get a switcheroo. Now, how is you behind on making these uh, doctors and, and all of that appointments? But you know, when the latest Chanel come out, that's what I want to know. I have to call them and see. But anyway, a well woman, I'm going to call them and see. I need to go back for my six month uh, memo. I can't believe it's been six months. Six months since I was on this Beyonce internet snotting and crying in the parking lot of the memo place after I got my free and clear results. I can't believe it's been six months. But when you go in for women who have gotten memos done, when you go in for a diagnostic memo. Ah, sweet Life called it. Sweet Life says she's always so fake busy. And it, you, baby, you hit the nail on the head. It's fake busy. Baby, Melissa Henderson said the doze is open. <laughs> Gina. I don't think they're talking about the ones with the door knobs. Oh, you know that you have to go back every six months until the doctor says. Okay, you don't have to go Gina, back. get and on. Drinking this nasty coffee. Year, so. Uh yes, I'm drinking my iced coffee. Um it's a little bit of the girl, not too much iced coffee, tons of creamer, and I got coconut syrup in it. It's sugar free. I got a hazelnut um, sugar-free syrup in here. I got almond and coconut milk in here. And then I got uh, just the damn splash of uh, grenadine. The coffee is nasty. Gina, we've seen you make it before. It's gross. I need to go back for my um, my six month. I need to make that appointment. With BLT who? <laughs> Gina. The people want to know uh, about uh, uh, Tanya. Uh, humble legend. Oh, you deleted it, Kelly? Thank you, Kelly, because you know I don't know no better. I was going to read it. Thank you for having my back, Kelly. What else? Pay some bills, and yeah, that's really about it. <laughs> Robin said the way she was repurposing those flowers. <laughs> <laughs> that was the part, Robin. You'd have beat me to it, Robin. I'm about to rearrange my flowers. Um, I'm gonna take out the ones that are dead, and then the ones that still have a little bit of life in them. I'm gonna repot. Is that how you say it? Re, yeah, repot them. This is going to be a very fun and exciting. Ah! It's my girl Jennifer's birthday week. She did have her birthday. Oh, let me put a towel down. Scoop paper towels down and bring the trash can over here. Gina, damn. Are yeah, you moving this slow? Um, I thought Jennifer's I this birthday week for Houston. Okay. Her official birthday, her actual birthday isn't until next week. Okay. Next, weekend, next week. 
next week. Yeah. Okay. She's doing events here with her friends that aren't able to travel with us next week. But I do the same thing. I have birthday dinner and get togethers here and then. Uh, yeah. Gina said, uh, Jennifer's uh, birthday, she's doing stuff here uh, for all her broke ass friends who not able to travel with us because they broke. They're not rich like me and Jennifer. <sighs> They're not able to damn travel the seven seas and uh, sell the French river river with us. Hey, April Reed. Uh, so all the broke ass uh, friends, y'all keep your broke ass right here in Houston. Y'all not finna uh, travel the French river river with us. <laughs> Jennifer, all them friends that you be over there working out with doing a hopscotch, double dutch, all of that, other than playing bridge and all of that. She talking to them. Them the ones Gina talking to. She said, gonna continue to uh to jump rope and hopscotch with y'all broke ass. Gina, which one? Because we gonna know which friends you calling broke when we don't see certain ones on Jennifer's birthday trip vlog, right? Hey, forever share. We gonna know, Gina. And then I'm gonna be putting two and two together. And I'll be like, oh, so that's the broke friend. Oh, so that's the broke friend. Okay, Gina. Gina, remember you said it. You said they're not able to. This is my thing. Y'all, we're going to slow walk it. So kick, y'all just kick up, kick, kick back, relax. Um, Gina, how do you know the that they're that they're not able to travel? Why you said it like that? What if the ladies already have trips planned? Uh, what if they already have events coming up? Uh, you said that they're not able to. What do you mean not able to, Gina? Because it's a lot of shit that you're not able to do and you still do it. You mean maybe they, they have to stay home and be a mom and all of that? Because we know you're going to call your baby daddy uh, your paid sitter over there and all of that. Gina said, y'all know I do that for my birthday too. Uh, I have stuff here for these friends. Uh, Gina, we didn't see them uh, twisted wig back to the, 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 the girl frontal to the back to. We didn't see big and leg Tanya. We see the same 3.25 friends that be at your dinner. And them is the same friends that don't be on the trip with you. We sick of you. You tell, you see, she said, y'all know I do a dinner here for all my friends that aren't able to travel. Gina, you only got a, one eighth of a friend. That's all you got. One eighth of a friend. Because all them hundreds of thousands of friends you got don't never pack out a damn restaurant. Never. And your co-workers don't damn count. Uh, uh, Portia don't count. The two gentlemen, they don't damn count. Uh, who else is? I ain't gonna call out the other ones because uh, like I mentioned before, they subscribe account ain't high enough for me to talk about. But you know who the hell we talking about, Gina. So, girl, you going on a, a working uh, trip. That's all it is. When y'all go on y'all birthday trips and all of that, it's work. Y'all taking up cameras. Y'all getting matching damn bikinis over there. Uh, uh, um, y'all saying up to it, down to it about 50, 11 times over there. Y'all eating, eating, complaining, sweating, taking more pictures, putting on more chunky uh, necklaces, anklets, bracelets, waist beads, earrings, nose rings, bad wigs, all of that. And y'all turning on y'all Canyon Z1, Z5210 and y'all propping it up and y'all throwing up the damn bunny ears and hitting damn record. Shut up, Gina. Outfit check, outfit check, shoes from Didi's, $12.99. I got them on sale for $2.97 because one of the uh because one of the buckles was a little bit broke. Well, it was turning um silver. I put some uh clear nail polish over that, cleared that up. $2.97. Uh just some pants I got from a little fast fashion show, uh fast fashion uh store here in Trend Mall. Y'all know I always wear these pants. These are cute for the BBL girls. I think I got these on sale for $19.99, I think. Yeah. A uh, little bandeau top. I uh, got this from Amazon. Link, I'll link it below if y'all want to get it. Um, this crop denim jacket. I'm not gonna wear this, but I brought this. But I got this from a fast fashion store. This is the faux pink uh, leather. Yeah, a uh, swimsuit cover up. I got this on the Fashion Over sale. It was a dollar eighteen. Um, yeah, jewelry. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me pull out all my damn jewelry out of this damn Ziploc bag over here. 
Because why in the shit is you still traveling, putting all of them damn, all them sheen accessories in a zip? The Ziploc bag is for your healthy choice food. The Ziploc bag is for your damn trail mix, niece, for your healthy food that you should be snacking on. It's not for the damn jewelry. You don't pull that damn Ziploc bag full of chunky, uh, uh, Mr. T. Ash Sheen damn necklace. I ain't never seen that many damn Sheen necklaces. I said, wait the hell? Baby, you may be mad. That's a hold on, y'all. Let me pull. Let me pull out a couple of these big ass uh, chain link fences and to throw them around my damn neck over here, uh, y'all. Sheen choker got this on sale. Then I got this other choker from Amazon. It's the uh, Dior dupe. And then I got on all of my cardio bracelets on one wrist over here. I got on my pink and my flower print Hermes bracelets. I stacked my rings over here. Uh, sent out a damn day. Tom Ford Lost Cherry, y'all, I layered it with the Prada Extreme. Mmm, smells good, especially when you haven't washed your ass. Sha, leave us alone. I know I go on a trip every year. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all know how some people have those fear of holes? Isn't it called like agoraphobia or something like that? I could be totally wrong, but people have like fear of holes. Like, I feel like this would play into somebody's fear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gina. So yeah, that probably won't be in this mall. It <laughs> might be. But that's on the weekend. She got something better four days. <sighs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. As the best friend, do I have to go to everything? Like, oh my God. Gina said, as the best friend, I have to go to everything. Gina said, baby, we finna be outside all damn weekend. Um, Okay. Uh, are we, we uh, is she also, is, uh, is Jennifer... <sighs> Gonna be having a party at one of the damn uh, clubs, and she's gonna y'all gonna put her her uh, face on a damn poster or on a flyer and say and fake claim she's hosting a party as well. Y'all gonna do that too because I want to attend. If she's hosting a party, I need to be there to get my damn car facts because I need proof. They charging anything out of the door to get into a hosted at Jennifer. <sighs> Is in the head of oh niece, John. We is women of a certain age. Four days in a row is a lot. Y'all know I have slowed down so much, so 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 much on like just going out, just being out. This rose actually still looks. Okay. Gina the slowed down on going out. That's what she damn said, right? But damn Wolf has been in town. Wolf don't want to be going to all of the hole in the wild places, and and you don't want to be running into Teddy because you know how Teddy is, John. You already know how that goes. Slow to she says she slowed it down from going to little the clubs and all of that. That's what she said. But who knows, baby? Gina turns that camera on uh, less and less these days. So, uh, you know, a lie nothing for Gina to tell. One thing Gina going to do, she going to tell a horrible lie. I mean, she going to tell a horrible joke and an even worse lie. Okay, but it's just, why does it look so sad? Mm -mm, this one, too. This one looks sad. Anyways, that is what is on my agenda for the weekend, for the week. Girl work. Like everybody else, Gina. That's really it. Being a sports mom. Back in action with that. Ashton will be out of town with her dad this weekend for a game. I think I told y'all that already. I feel like I did. I feel like I told y'all that in the other vlog. Maybe not. As I'm picking these flowers apart, it's like they all kind of, I don't know how many of them are really going to be able to be saved. Hey, y'all, that was just my morning check-in. Who asked her? To God damn. I'm throwing away. This looks pretty. Something about this still. Oh, Gina. Pretty, Baby. Just them laying here, but they are most definitely fried. What Maybe is we doing? Oh, knees. Oh, knees. Oh, knees. <laughs> knees. Gina. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Y'all. What the winner? What? Excuse me? Where is Robin? Robin, why you ain't told me about these flowers? <laughs> Gina, what the what I with these flowers? Niece. <laughs> oh no, niece. No. <laughs> what y'all, what that lady say on get out? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Gina. <sighs> I'll be honest with y'all. I watched Gina's vlog. I did. I didn't watch all of it. I think I turned it off on the part where she was getting ready to go out to 
She had on a red and white striped shirt. She was dressed up as Where's Waldo. Um, when I tell y'all, baby, the, so I watched it up to that part, baby. But the funniest part to me is when she was cooking a new dish that I hadn't seen her cook before because we've been up here telling her that her ass can't cook and then she cooked the same shit. So she was making some um something with some with some shrimp in and she said oh y'all uh i forgot the tail is still on i left the tail on in the shrimp so she was digging a hot shrimp up out the pot trying to rip the tail off i said oh niece niece why didn't you just buy a shrimp with the tail up <sighs> on their last leg but they will be good i would say for at least maybe three or four more days this is insane Kels now <laughs> now y'all brace yourself Cause y'all been wearing me out, Gina. This this is what happens, and I don't like this about Gina. Gina, I'm, I'm gonna have to have a talk with you, um, a girl. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand, Gina. Gina, Miss Gina Janine, if you're in here, you're listening. Um, please, niece, I need you to stop saying stupid shit, uh, and um, all of that. Because what happens is when you say stupid shit. Your subscribers, my subscribers, hell, people that's, that's not subscribed to me but come over here in the bushes watch, they all knock my dough down telling me what you did and how enraged they are. And then I got to come up here and address it. I can't get no damn sleep. Because, Gina, can you please send a smoke signal before you get ready to stay, say some stupid shit? Sure. Brace yourself. Salad. I went to the gym. Ah, y'all. Gina said, <clears throat> "I went to the gym. I took Ashton to school. Gina, you ain't went to nobody damn gym. Shut up." Ashton to practice. Oh, practice. She's currently in practice right now, and I was hungry, so I went to I'm about to say KFC, Chick Fil A. <laughs> y'all see where my mind's at? I'd rather be eating some fried chicken and mashed potatoes right now. Clearly. But yeah, I also got an eight count grilled nugget. The twelve. Uh, she's showing us what she eating on camera. Y'all know how it goes. How nuggets used to be. Gina, when did you have time to go to the gym? Wait a minute. Did we see her fixing her bottle of her her bottle of water? Did she went? Maybe she eat went. My jam. I cannot eat twelve no more. Yeah, Ezra's mom. Why well, we can't see? Well, that. I probably could if I forced it. But yeah, y'all know this is my go to light. Super light meal, barbecue sauce for the grilled nuggets because that has the lowest sugar, the lowest calories. It has the lowest, lowest everything. The, 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 I'm sick of this. Why do you need it at all? Why do, yeah, Jay Vickers, we may uh, go over there and check it out. Uh, Gina, why do we, why, Gina, why? Why, niece? Why? Why do you need the, why do you need all of that at all? Dang. It tastes good when you put the nuggets on the kale salad, too. Mm. Mm. And you have to get it with the charred peppers. It's a must, okay? She a two-month lie. And I have my own water, so I didn't have to pay for a combo. $2 cheaper if you buy it a la carte. Okay. And I was so mad my apple. Anybody who didn't know, $2 cheaper if you don't get the drink at um, Chick-fil-A. It's $2 cheaper if you get it a la carte. Thank you, Gina. Sure. Wouldn't pull up because the reception here is horrible in this area. I could have got Gina Shade said, "Do you ever read the nutrition facts, or do you just uh, you just well, it's a set, it's kale, well, it's grilled nuggets, well, it's barbecue sauce. Is that even real barbecue sauce, Gina, or is that just or is that is that really just ketchup with some maybe some brown sugar in it and some regular sugar? Like what is it?" Well, probably some damn, I don't know, smoked paprika. I don't know. Shit. Go for free because I have so many points. So I want to ask y'all, what is y'all's take on the Dre and Michelle situation? <sighs> Yo. Uh, Mods, do I need to slow the chat down? Do I need to slow the chat down? Y'all let me know. Uh, Lady T-Bug, if you're in here, I believe uh, you have the capability to slow my chat down. So if the chat gets to moving, can you slow it down? Uh, let me see if Harlem Mocha. Oh. oh, let me black. Okay, I need to change all y'all's capabilities. Cause, um... Okay, let me slow the chat down a little bit. 
child. Whew. And then we'll pick it back up. Let's see how five seconds does. Okay. I didn't know you was in here. If it moves, if it's too slow, uh, you could adjust it, Lady T-Bug. <laughs> By the time y'all watch this, it'll be old news. You know, things are only in the media for a very short period of time. Then we're like on to the next. <laughs> you could pick it back up if it's too slow, T-Buck. But if y'all don't know, Drea Michelle is a reality TV star, Instagram influencer, lady of a certain age. She's like an OG video chick. And she's been in the industry for many, many years. Okay? I think she dated Chris Brown when they were younger. Okay. But anyway, she is 39 years old. And her boyfriend and baby daddy is 22. He's an NBA. <laughs> oh, let's y'all i may have to stop in between and give my commentary just because oh lord he actually plays for the houston rockets and she announced her pregnancy i want to say last week yeah about last week and the internet has been in an uproar they are so mad that she got pregnant by a 22 year old she already has a son who's 22 and she has another son who i believe is about 10 years old Okay. So upper is she's thirty nine. The guy is twenty two. She. Has y'all see how Gina is just so um. Y'all see how she's just casually mentioning this, right? Just casually while she's it's ca she's casually mentioning. She's low key reacting. So Gina's in her reactor bag right now. Come on, Gina. She has a son who's the same age as her boyfriend. When I tell you they've been ripping her to shreds, calling her nasty, calling her a pedophile, calling her a groomer. Any name you can think of in the book. That's what they're calling her. My thing is, they are two consenting adults. Yeah. Gina, you are horrible. I'm going to stop you right here. Gina, you are horrible. And I'm going to tell you why you are horrible for saying they are two consenting adults. Because you have even said before that you won't date anyone that's younger. I think she said younger than 30. I think she said in the 30s. But she wouldn't even go back that far to 22. You are horrible, and I 100% disagree with what the hell you are saying. Not only is that very inappropriate, that is inappropriate for a woman or a female. They've been dragging Rick Ross from day. They dragging Drake because low-key, allegedly, he's dating Lotto's sister or talking to her behind the scenes. Man or woman, it's, it's inappropriate, and they are groomers, in my opinion. That is very inappropriate. Do you mean to tell me that if your daughter was in playing basketball, she's 22. Or the, yeah, let's say she's 22. She's playing basketball. She didn't listen to your stupid ass. Her daddy stayed on her. She went through college. She played, she 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 got drafted. She in the WNBA. She playing basketball. Uh, do you mean to tell me that if a gentleman 39 knocking down the 40 year old door approach your 22 year old daughter you will see nothing wrong with it because they are two consenting adults no ma'am i don't care who i don't care if they're rich i don't care if they're poor you're making it seem okay because they because they let you tell they have money in your eyes that is inappropriate for a man or a woman that is still a child that is very much so a groomer and I think that is inappropriate. 22 and 39 is very inappropriate, girl. And the fact that you see nothing wrong with this makes you weird. Yeah, he might be young enough to be her child, 17 years younger than her. He's a consenting adult. He is in the NBA. He is a multimillionaire. He has brand deals, endorsement deals. Why are we so hell bent? on talking about the age gap when we're not talking about how much wonderful parents they can be uh so gina said it's okay because he rich yeah like I, I guess if he worked at foot locker then it'd be a problem right because he's not in a he all she knows is that he's signing millionaire he's signing millionaire uh deals or whatever oh snap So all we're going to talk about is the fact that, that he's signing a millionaire deals and all of that over there, right? That's what we're going to talk about it.
Hold on, y'all. Lord, let me keep going. Cha, how long was that comment sitting up there? Cha, I ain't put that comment up there. Cha, let's keep going. This is his first child. He can provide this child a life that you or me can't afford <laughs> afford our children. So why? What does that have to do with anything? What 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 does the, the 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 money that you and I can't afford? So it's okay. It's okay. And Gina, this man is twenty two. Let's look at it like this. Um, let's look at it like this. Now the woman is Drea is thirty nine years old, right? The the guy I don't even know his name. He's twenty two. Uh, I'm pretty sure Drea is in a different lane in her life. Is she going to be expect, or maybe she's not, who knows? I'm assuming. Uh, maybe not since she went over there with a 22-year-old. And uh, are we just going to, is she going to be expecting the same type of um, morals, values, uh, mannerism, all of that, and duties of a guy her age? Is she going to be expecting that from a 22-year-old? Because the 22-year-old going to dog walk your ass. Supposedly, they are already in a triangle. Supposedly, he already got another baby on the way. But Gina said it's okay to be dog walk because yep, at least he got money. So if there is any girl up here on the YouTube streets or in the industry who, who has money and has a little bit of clout to her, whether she's a YouTube content creator or Instagram baddie, whatever, if you have been dog walk in a relationship, as long as your ninja got money, it's okay. But if you got dog walked by a broke ninja, then it's a problem. That's basically what damn Gina is up here saying. Why are we not talking about this, that his, his, his child is going to go to the best schools? His child. What the hell does it, Gina? Who told you his child is gonna go to the best schools? Who said that? Who said that, Sugar Lump? Who said that, niece? Who said that, Pumpkin? Nobody said that. When do we, you just automatically assume we don't know what the future holds at the hell all? We don't even know. The way they, the way these young boys be running through that damn money and all of that, baby, we don't we don't know what the future holds. You just sitting up here assuming, Gina, and I think it's because you really wish that instead of you running into damn wolf and y'all backpacking and all of that and, 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 and damn uh, hopping from uh, I'm gonna say damn motel to motel, that you wish you would have ran into some of the men um like uh joy chavez and drea michelle has ran into gina this is so immature of you you have young children you have a young boy and a, a daughter coming up are you going to say that that's okay for the you matter of fact you have a son that's already in his 20s so if he comes to you and he brings a lady in her mid 40s that's okay that's okay gina because as i do recall um you was I remember it was one point in time when I, it was probably like a couple of years back when the women was, I think there was some of her subbies was trying to shoot their shot at her son or whatever, but her son was saying that they were too old or whatever. But I think that that was really Gina thinking that they, that they were too old for the, for the, the, the son or whatever, but I could be wrong. But anyway, moving forward, Gina, that is not okay, niece. And I don't think I'm the only one who feels like they, that is highly inappropriate. She is almost 40. He's 22. That if he was the, if he was 30, then girl, I don't, I don't then that's a little bit different. He's 22. You talking about just because the fact because he can read and sign a, a mil, you let you tell the millionaire a million dollar contract. How you know it's a million dollars? Who said that? Who said it was a million dollars? Oh, now we'll have a one up going to the league. His child will have a one up in life because that's just the way it is. Nepotism. What? That's what it is. I just don't understand why people get so upset, so emotional, so like their podcasts have to be dedicated to talking trash about Drea. She's this, she's that. When she's First of all, I don't what which podcast, Gina? Because I know, I know, I already I, I clocked your tea. You feel the low key try to um I told you, baby, them, them short, the arms too short to reach, niece. I told you that. And I know you've been wanting my attention because my tension was on other stuff. And you you've been you've been jealous and you've been wanting my attention. Um, we already know how you finna try to insert yourself in all of this in a little lie that you finna sit around over here and tell. And I'm gonna let you do your big one, and then I'm gonna let you know where you fucked up. 
is clearly happy. If it's something that does not affect your life, I'd be like, why are you so invested in it? Why do you care so much? Why are you so mad at her? Gina, which podcast is just sitting around every day? All, why, which podcast is dedicated to talking about Drea Michelle? Drea Michelle is not that entertaining to where I would want to dedicate a podcast around her. That's all my commentary. She's not a vlogger like you. She's not letting us in her life every day unless it's on Instagram. And I don't even know if she's active like that on Instagram. I think this is the most that I've heard of Drea Michelle since finding out she was pregnant by somebody's uh, son over there. This is the first time. Who said anything about hating anyone? Y'all kill me with that. Y'all think just because somebody has an opinion different from what y'all want to hear that they jealous or they hating. That's y'all. That's y'all's insecurity. Y'all love projecting. It makes absolutely no sense to be so upset with somebody that you don't know, you've never met, and who are two consenting adults. He can make decisions about what team he wants to play for, his endorsement, make sign million dollar contracts. First, the hell of all, uh, if you have, um, if anybody has young adult kids in their early twenties, you already know that that's kind of when the parenting really kicks into uh, overtime, right? Because they finna make some of the stupid ass twenty year old decisions, and you have to be right there to guide them, to teach them, and to help them because they finna really do some stupid shit. That's not the point for you to say, "Well, uh, you're on your own. Nope, you made it past eighteen. Go." Do what you want. No, that's your time to be right there and near and dear, which makes me think that you weren't there for your oldest son when he was in his early 20s. So, Gina, I don't know. Am I clocking your tea? Are you telling on yourself? Because now I'm questioning you, niece. Now I'm questioning you. But y'all worried about. Uh, it's just so crazy to me. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let these people be Why the hell are you in girl quit rubbing these these rubbing these damn hands over here? I have to look up at the screen, baby. I thought this was damn Chelsea. Girl, what, why is your hands ashy like that, niece? Uh second of all, Gina, niece, pumpkin, sugar lump. If Drea Michelle ass is trending, if it's in the news, if it's in the hot topics, her ass gonna get talked about. Whether it's shade room, Hollywood unlock, neighborhood talk, who the hell ever. She going to get damn talked about. It's nobody worrying about nobody. That's the topic of discussion. And her ass going to get addressed. Just like if you over here fake going to the gym, fake dieting, lying, and all of that, we going to talk about you. It happened? And I know. Yeah, Sade, she mad because it's not her. She stuck with, with a backpacking ass wolf. People put their lives out there online for people to judge. I get it. I understand. Judging others is, is natural. I know, but to sit up on the internet and write hateful comments, it's just like who, y'all, who was writing hateful comments to her? How much of a horrible life do you have to have to sit up here and write hateful comments underneath? Have you been to your comment section? <laughs> Gina, girl, have the people write these comments and they done went on about their damn day. Nobody is just sitting and camping out in your comments to, to spam you and all of that niece. Girl, get off the gas. People's pictures and threaten them and send them DMs and how horrible. Who's sending somebody DMs and threatening them? Gina, did you insert Carfax? Are we still talking about Dre or Michelle? Well, it's just crazy. Like, it's so insane to me. I don't know if she's talking. Yeah, look at the freeze frame. Uh, I don't know if she's talking about her comment section or I'm confused as hell. Gina, who are we talking about? Are we still on damn Dre? Are we still on Dre or Michelle? Or did we move over and talk about you, niece? What happened? This girl numbers are so good. Mm. There was a point in my life where I was unhappy with my job, with myself. All I was, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I'm broke, unhappy. And I used to do the same thing. I would go and write little negative stuff. Once I started realizing it's projection and I'm only writing negative stuff because I'm jealous. I used to see girls on the internet who have... Uh, <clears throat> now I'm all the way confused. Now I'm all the way confused because didn't the hell you tell us that you've only dated millionaires and billionaires, men that own yachts, islands, and oil fields and all of that? Didn't you tell us all? Did, so when when were you ever living paycheck to paycheck? You told us that you've always dated millionaires. 
So I'm confused. When was you living paycheck to paycheck? Huh? And then didn't you say that you was over there with damn uh with with with, with uh, Earl? And you said he was a millionaire? Y'all had staff? Y'all y'all had a cleaning crew? Uh, y'all had a landscaper on deck, all of that, a butler? Uh, I'm confused as damn hell. Huh. Okay. Well, last time I turned a BBL, and I used to be like, she a builder bear. The same thing. I would go and write little negative stuff. One. Gina, you still say negative stuff. You still you uh call people broke. You tell them they have big backs. Uh, you 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 shade people too, niece. You you still do things like that, Gina. What you mean used to? What what the hell are we talking about? You still do that shit to this day. We we still clock your teeth. Yeah, she dated a prince. You still do that stuff to this day, Gina. I'm I'm confused, you Once I started realizing. Is projection, and I'm only writing negative stuff because I'm jealous. I used to. Uh, she wants to say that everybody who's ever wrote something negative about her that y'all is jealous. Whoever wrote something negative about Gina is jealous. I told y'all, baby. Some of these content creators, they be so damn delusional. They really be thinking that the people low key be jealous of them, not knowing your audience, not knowing that your viewers probably have the same as or more than what you got. Your viewers may own businesses. Your viewers may have a slew. They may have two or three Range Rovers. They may have two or three Maybox. They may, may own property. They may have had two of them uh, LiPo 360s. They may don't even have to wear wig because they got 22 inches of their own natural hair niece. They may have been buying bags and didn't have to wait to get on YouTube and exploit themselves and their kids for a damn a, a check. They could have been getting to the bag. They could have been knowing uh, ninjas with money to buy them stuff. They could have been taking trips. They didn't just have to wait to start doing all that. You the only one damn late to the party. I'm mad that you just now discovering shit. I'm mad at you. You just now discovering stuff. How do you know that, that y'all viewing subscribers if they don't already be on to this stuff? You be the one that late to the damn party, Gina. The, your, your viewers be uh, owning houses. They're not making somebody else rich. Baby, they have health care, uh, car insurance, <laughs> the, 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 their bathroom, they they uh hygiene is on point. They don't they really are going to the gym, like they really burning calories. They really love to spend time with their kids. They go on vacation and they can't wait to get back home to their kids. And they be like, you know what? I'm going to be gone 10 days. My kids is coming with me. You never know what, how people are. That I, That's why I can't stand when the content creators judge their subscribers or their viewers and just assume that people are quote unquote broke or poor or, or not shaped like how you are. And even if they are broke and poor and shaped opposite of you, does that mean that they can't have a damn opinion they can have an opinion just because you're the most beautiful person in the world or just because you're the most ugliest person well, that does, your looks determine if you can have an opinion on some shit that you watch on the tv no it don't work like that i'll wear your ass out if i look like fiona i don't give a damn to see girls on the internet who have flat stomachs and a bbl and i used to be like she a builder bear she a this she a that knowing good and well no, good and well. I wanted a tummy tuck. I wanted hips. I wanted. I wanted a body. Uh, girl, the freeze, the freeze frame eats every damn time. My freeze frame eats every time. Gina, first of all, let me let me tell you. Let me go ahead and clear you real quick. Ain't nobody got to have no twenty two inch waist. Ain't nobody got to have no overly um done a bbl but it's women with bbls getting dog damn walk do you not see some of the girls getting their bodies done can't keep a man to save their soul from the damn devil do you hear me the man is coming over there for a good time not a long time uh did you not see your ass you went over here got all this work that since you want to make it about that let's make it about that okay let's go hold my beer y'all let me cook because really damn quick you done got all this work done new nose new i don't even know who you are anymore this i don't even recognize you your damn siri on your iphone don't probably don't even recognize you and you stay with a nigga playing in your face you done sit up here and presented wolf shot 
Teddy with the damn sweaters. You, I ain't seen not a now a millionaire, billionaire man. You, we had a fake prince over him. Girl, where are the men who are knocking down your door? Since you say everybody's jealous. Why the hell is you over here backpacking with damn wolf? Over here taking damn uh, baths, uh, baths and damn uh, tubs of beer. Why the hell is you over there? Baby, you done brought Wolf up here. Wolf done been with girl. Wolf is, girl, you need to ask him, girl. Wolf, and you got Wolf. You you mean to tell me you done laid on that surgery table because you seen the ladies who have their bodies like that and you said, ooh, I want, I want my body like theirs. I want to do that, so X, Y, and Z. Because you thought that that was going to, uh what, segue into a, the, a, the Instagram, like your Ari Fletcher life. That's what you thought when it's the total opposite. Because at the end of the day, niece, the men going to come. They going to come all right. But the trick is, will they, can you get them to stay? Can you get, the, you couldn't even get Shata to stay. Shata ran off with your handbag and one of your uh, Dior lip glosses and was damn gone, niece. He was driving your car, niece. He was driving your car. Do you hear me? Y'all want even, y'all with trips where? Where'd y'all go to? Damn Jamaica, you went and bought y'all some damn DD's shirts. That man didn't stick around to wear the damn long enough to wear the DD's uh, vacation shirts you bought him, nor the damn Christmas pajamas, baby. And next thing you know, you come up here, baby, you want to make us think that you got it going on like all of that, which who cares? I don't. But baby, we see the car facts. You presented Wolf knees. Shall I say more? You presented Wolf. Does Wolf have a car? Where's Wolf's house? What the hell does Wolf got? You want somebody to be jealous of you when Wolf comes into town? He don't even have his own shit to go. Where is he staying? What's the tea? And why he out? Why was he? Why he got to drive your car? Where's his car? Cha, y'all let y'all let Gina trick y'all if y'all want to. If y'all let Gina sit up here, girl, cha, don't let Gina trick y'all out y'all sack. You will be a fool if you do. I didn't have the money back then to afford it. So when I would see other girls with it. I would be so jealous. So, okay, because that's that low child. The freeze frame eats. That's that damn low self esteem over there. You hear me? In my opinion, Gina still has very much so low self esteem. She still has it. She it may not be low as low. Gina has uh, insecurity issues too. There's insecurities going on. You you could you could kind of tell. And I feel like when certain women are around, she tightens up. Like she feels like everything is all about looks and labels and all of that. And they calm down because when you get to putting on all your looks and labels, you make the shit look cheap. And we never know what the hell is going on over there with you, niece. You make it all look very much so cheap over there. Do you hear me? Very much so cheap. Girl, this whole little talk right here, this little rant is so damn sh shallow to me. I don't care if my stomach was sitting in my lap between my damn legs, baby. Let me cook. If I want to say something, I can say something. If I would, whatever can be said, because the first thing somebody going to say is, well, what you look like, well, what you look like. Just, somebody don't even have to be commenting on Gina's looks, but her subscribers going to always say, well, what you look like? Well, I don't know what you look like. Why do it always have to revert back to looks? You want to know why? Because the person who, the person whom they watch, the queen whom they serve, is just as shallow as they stupid asses over there. It's just as damn shallow as them. Girl, Gina, if you don't go somewhere and grow, niece, we need you to grow. And not just, girl, weight-wise. We need you to, girl, in the brain. We need some things to progress. Envy is so upset because I'm like, I can't afford it. I can't afford that. When I started leveling up my life... So Gina said the ninjas was going past her. Because she didn't, she didn't look a certain way. So your face car wasn't eating. Eat. Oh, we seen a fa an old face car pic. That's none of my business, Gina. I don't care. I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, Gina said, "Baby, the fa I guess the face car wasn't eating, so she had to get the body, girl. I assume. I don't damn know because I know pretty. I know pretty and plenty of women, natural body women." face card sits and they run circles around you and half of them can actually run in a circle without having to slow down, uh, grab their knees and 
I'm tired. I know plenty of women. This is so shallow. This is a very much so shallow conversation to me and all of that. Gina, you over here trying to eat this kale, baby. You you couldn't even, girl, get, girl, you couldn't even control your own damn hunger and all of that, baby. You had to get something to aid and, and help you, and that's fine. That's your business. Because you was on the verge of eating your, your uh, surgery body. Yours was about, to, the, the, tuck, the tuck was going to come untucked. You knew you had to get some shit in order over there. I swear the negativity just left. It vanished. She said once she laid on that table and once they 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 did the tuck and they did a suck, she said the um, everything vanished. That was her answer. She was insecure. That that's all it was. I started realizing like when you have jealousy and envy in your head and you unhappy with yourself and you start putting putting it on other people, you'll never progress. You'll never get get ahead in this life. Gina, you jealous? I believe that you're jealous of your sister to a certain extent. I believe that. I believe that you're jealous of your other co-workers up here, up here on YouTube. I believe it. I believe that you're jealous of regular women in regular life. That I'm when I say regular, I mean that aren't in the YouTube world. I believe you see if you see a woman out, just a, a regular, regular woman, you'd be jealous of her. I believe that you you can't tell me that you're not. You want to know why I can I can it's just the way you carry yourself. I could tell when you was at the Galentine's uh dinner with Jennifer, uh you was insecure. You was the most you was the tackiest one there dressed, and you looked insecure. I believe you are very jealous, Gina, and your way of um your way of getting around that or however is to make yourself stand out, stand, stand out more by whatever material things and all of that. And to just make yourself feel like you're better than the next person. When all of that is nothing, niece strip, none of whatever labels and all of that and all the shit that you win, all of that, that means nothing. It's still going to, everything's still going to revert back to who are you? If it girl, if, it, if it's on you, not in you, that's how it is with you. I just don't see the point. Like I said, I feel like it's a lot of projection. <clears throat> And a lot of jealous uh, people out here. Y'all y'all catch the tea? She was finna say women. Y'all catch the tea? She was finna say women. Hold on, let me roll it back. I started realizing, like, when you have jealousy and envy in your head and you unhappy with yourself and you start putting putting it on other people, you'll never progress. You'll never get, get ahead in this life. Uh, If you don't start going to that gym, if you don't put down all that sugary-ass food and all of that, you'll never lose weight. I mean, you are but we know you had to get assistance. I just don't see the point. Like I said, I feel like it's a lot of projection and a lot of jealous uh, people out here. She was about to say women. I think she was about to say women, in my opinion. Look at the freeze frame. She was about to say women. It's a lot of jealous women. Gina want women to be jealous of her so bad. Um, if anybody jealous of damn Gina, the, girl, go sit in a damn corner. Anybody is jealous of anything damn uh, Gina got. Gina, I'll tell you like this, niece. <clears throat> there are women who are the, uh, there are natural body ladies up here who run damn circles around you. Do you hear me? There are a couple, they're smaller channels. It's one girl who's not even 20K subscribers. I'm subscribed to her channel. Um, yeah, she's a vlogger. She 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 goes live um also with her subscribers. I'm not going to tell her name cuz I don't want to put her on the spot. But baby, she runs circles uh, around you. You know who else I think runs circles around you? Um Rochelle. I believe Rochelle Chanel runs circles around you. She has class. She knows how to carry herself. She has style. Uh, she gonna put a wig on just her everything about her confidence and out knowing her worth runs circles around you circles you know who else runs circles around you chelsea janae runs laps around you niece do you hear me with the leave out flying off and everything chelsea runs circles around you do you hear me circles can dress can beat her face. Don't give a damn what nobody think. Girl. Can do her makeup. Runs 
circles around you. And it's very much so that girl. There are a lot of women that run marathons around you, Gina. A lot of women. Girl, you think just you think you got it because you feel like you you are a certain of a certain aesthetic. You really don't. You, you really don't got it. There are way more YouTube content creators who run circles, laps, marathons. I don't want to put no other channels on the spot because there are quite a few smaller channels who eat, niece, who eat off the bone. But you want to come over here and think just because um, I guess you want to make it all about looks because that's what she really want to do at the end of the day. She want to make it, oh, they're jealous of me because of my looks, because I have this. But nobody is just, you don't even like the way you look, niece. We don't even know who you are these days. You don't even like how you look so much that you want to change your shit. That's how much we know you didn't like yourself. That's how we knew you was broke because you had to wait till you got your money up to actually fix yourself up. That's how we knew you was, but that's how we knew. We already knew what type of time you was on. We already knew. Yeah. I think it's a lot of jealous men that talk about her because they wish they could have, they, they know they would never be able to get a woman that looks like her. Who wants, who? Girl, do you, <laughs> are we still talking about, are we still talking about damn uh, Drea? How many men has she been with? If the men have the coin, then she's going to go. There is no, uh, what? Gina, do you be off into this world? Do you be off, off in, your, in your world over there to see what goes on? Drea just comes with a dollar sign. I'm pretty sure. You not so damn much. Because we see what you got. You got wolf. I think it's a lot of women that talk about her. Because they know she about to have a fat check. <laughs> like she said, and I know y'all women talk about her because she bet who says she about to have a fat check? How do we determine she finna have a fat check? How do we determine that? How do we determine she about to have a fat check? The man already is is she not even the only baby mama. If I'm not mistaken, like I said, I think it's another girl that, that's pregnant too, or maybe that's a rumor or whatever. But she, uh, Dre, I need to get ready for the yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna give dog walk over there. He's 22. It is, but you said don't worry. It come with a check. It come with a check. Everything over there comes with a check for Gina. Gina, are you saying that you're to be sold? Because if you are, your dollar amount is low, niece. Because we see you wound up with damn wolf, girl. We seen your ass them wound up with damn wolf over there. And then what did he get you for for uh, Valentine's? Because you never told us what he got you for Valentine's. While we over here worried about the fat check and all of that, that that's coming with Drell, what did wolf get you for Valentine's? Since you said everybody is jealous of you. What did you get for Valentine's, niece? What? Did you, you ain't even told us. You let that gloss right over, but you want to tell us what you got yourself. We don't care what you got yourself, niece. That don't count. What did he get you? Now, you know, when you got with Earl, niece, you said he proposed. I don't know. I've, I I want to say Valentine's, but I could be mistaken. Years back, whenever he proposed, you said he got you a, a, a Michael Kors purse and something else. But you, you told us that you always been that girl. You told us that you always been that girl. So it always gave Chanel, uh, Chanel and all of that over there. Now, how did you go from one to the other? That's that's what the hell we want to know. This is why I said I can't take you serious. This one right here. I said this is why I said I can't take you serious. So if you if you look in Gina's eyes, you can see. Just look, look in the eyes right there. She's looking like, oh, I wish that was me. I wish I could. That's why you and Tina carried y'all ass over to that Houston Rockets uh, basketball game, and y'all set your ass right there courtside, and then nothing much came of it after that. Well, something probably did, but nothing that was gonna stick, right? You remember? When you dress up in your fire, uh, fire engine, uh, fire engine, fire marshal, Bill Red, uh, shark boots over there, and you went to that 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 football, that excuse me, that basketball game, and you sat courtside. Oh, was somebody? Hold on, Kelly. Was somebody getting cute in the comments? Who deleted it? Who was getting cute in my comments? Hold on, y'all. Pause the show. Do I gotta cut somebody out? I told y'all y'all can say what y'all want to say, but y'all y'all got to be respectful. I'm going to cut y'all ass out because I don't care. Uh, 
hold on. Somebody was getting cute in my comments or no? Nah? Let me scroll up and see if I can see. Uh, whoever the BBB or whoever. Oh, no. Well, nobody getting cute. Okay, I, I thought I see one of y'all. Mo the one of the mods took it out. I thought. Uh, let's pause for cause. A uh, BBB, if you over here, Wench, let me just tell you right now, Wench, you the only one. Whoever it was, I know I seen a comment, but it went away. Let me tell you right now, Wench, because you over here, you part of seven hundred seven five. Let me tell you right now, Wench, you came over here to listen. I don't have no problem with you listening, niece, Wench, uh, whatever you are. Uh, but you, you got to be respectful. Now, you done set your stupid ass over here. You done subscribe just so you can get your rocks off. And then I can't really even remember what your comment was. But I seen I got I seen it got deleted. So I think it was something. Yeah, you was trying to get real cute. But let me tell you something right now. Girl, you one of these moms just saved you. One of these moms just saved. Don't, don't, don't come over here being in your feelings because you want to have the life that that uh that your thick bestie over here got, niece. Uh, don't, don't, don't come up here. Don't do that. You come over here. My comments getting real cute. You could say what you wanted, but you, you have to be respectful because if you come over here trying to tussle, I'm going to eat your ass off the bone. And then y'all going to be running off talking about, it. she cusses out her chat. She's a bully. She's me. I'm going to tear your ass up. You better carry your ass back over there to, to Gita Janine and whatever the hell she got going on over there, girl. Cause I tell her up just because you pissed me off. Girl, I drag her, but just because of your ass, cause I am holding back. I am holding back, but just because you aspire to be just like some forty-plus-year-old woman, nothing wrong with the age, but someone, uh, uh, her who aspires to be like a twenty-something-year-old girl or like a Ari Fletcher, that's her aspirations. Just because you aspire to be like a bird brain who has a wish list full of hand on her wish list is handbags. And shit that she should have already been ahead. So she lied and told us that she dates millionaires and billionaires. You get your delusional ass back over there with her. Grab you a snap meal. Sit your ass in, in a bakisha with her. And eat y'all motherfucking food. Don't come over here bothering me. Now you bring your ass over here again. You better get your ass back over there and get cute in her chat. Because I'm not the one. And you done pissed me off. Because I can't see your comment. And I wish I did. But anyway, let's continue. I feel like. And if, it's, and if it's people that think that their age gap is too big, then that's fine. Date who you want to date. Let her date who she wants to date. They clearly happy. He got her name tattooed on her. They clearly Gina's. <laughs> Gina said they clearly happy. They got their damn names tattooed on each other. They clearly happy. They got their names. He got her name tattooed. She got her name tattooed. What the hell that mean? Gina, I'm pretty sure under these backyard again uh, tattoos that you got going on, I'm pretty sure you got a ninja name or somewhere. Girl, girl please. What the hell? A tattoo? A tattoo? I'd be lying if I tell you I didn't have a cover up tattoo. A tattoo? What the hell do a tattoo mean? In my opinion, baby, a tattoo is that's a recipe for disaster. That means you got this ninja name tatted. Yeah, get ready. Two weeks, you will have to go get your damn cover up. Do you hear me? Gina, you are in your 40 year, you are 40 years old saying this. If you was 20, it would be totally different, niece. And we girl, we wouldn't even care. You said a tattoo means that you're happy did you, you and wolf, well you and wolf just dating baby you ain't came up and said y'all finna get married or anything like that but um gina niece why would you gina you're an idiot really happy she did a whole pregnancy photo shoot it's like why screw the nigga? she said she did a whole pregnancy photo shoot she did what the hell do a pregnancy photo shoot <laughs> What the hell a pregnancy photo shoot got to do with any damn thing? I'm confused as hell. What does a pregnancy photo shoot have to do with anything at all? That's what I want to know. What does a pregnancy photo shoot have to do with anything? What, is, what does that mean? Negativity. That's all I got to say. Watch beautiful negativity. And then a few days ago, <clears throat> Joey, Joy, Joey, whatever her name is, Chavez, she has a baby with Bow Wow. 
She has another child with Future, and now she's pregnant by a football player. Who's damn, you know, I, damn, girl, uh, when is the next parent-teacher conference at your kid's school? What what is their AAU basketball schedule looking like? What what is the the baby's uh track schedule looking like? We know everything. You know all. You done ran down this lady's uh baby daddies. You done ran down the baby daddies. When is the PTA? When is the next track meet? What time? Uh, what time are you gonna get there? When is the last uh track meet? When is it? When is the season end? When does basketball? Meet? When is all? Of, did we log on the, the the school portal and look at the kids' grades? Niece, that's not even. You know why I'm why girl why I'm on a why I'm in a tizzy is because that's not even your job. You want to get up here and tell people not to be in other people's business but you in other people's business you're doing the same you're doing the same thing i do niece you sitting in your car reacting that's what the hell you doing you're just doing it the opposite damn way because you with the shits whatever they got going on over there you're doing the exact same thing i'm doing you knew all that girl's baby i didn't even know who joy chavez baby all her baby daddies was i didn't even know she had three damn kids how many she got i didn't even know I didn't even know all her baby did. Girl, uh, when do the when do the kids get out? When, I mean, when is the end of the school year? Where where's your daughter going for her basketball? Do you know what you know what teams they're playing? Do you know her stats? Do you know how many uh points she makes per game? How many fouls? All of you all of that. If you were keeping up with all of that, you wouldn't have time to keep up with all of this. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, you keeping up with what Joy and Drea got, you don't get paid for that, niece. You don't get paid for that. You 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 not getting a check. Nobody's asking you to just come up here and tell Joy and Dre a bit. That's not why you're getting a check. You're getting a check because you are vlogging. You're very much so entertaining life, which ain't even entertainment all the time. I, I got to put a commentary and spin on them to entertain my damn self. You you really low key want to do what what the reaction reactor girls do. Shout out to all other reaction channels. Every last one of the reactor channels. Um. Shout out to all the channels who react on all of the, the Gina Janines, the Peyton Marie Charles, the Lily, yours truly, uh, the Portia Nicole. Shout out to y'all all. Now, back to what the hell I'm saying. Gina, we don't need you over here with us, niece. Can your ass on back over there. You don't want us to be in nobody business, but you in other people's business. Then you tell us, y'all need to mind y'all business. You need to mind your damn business. Why you fake going to the gym? Because we know you ain't cared your stinking ass to no damn gym. Girl, please. Ten years younger than her. Now they've been talking about her. Talking about their age gap. Ten year age gap. Do y'all talk about these age gaps when men do it? Hell Rick Ross yeah. Ross is just with a woman. Hell yeah. We Girl, look at the face. Look at the... Jenna... Rick Ross is very much so a creep. I think Puff P. Diddy is a creep. Uh, if Drake was over there with Lotto's sister, I think that's very much so creep. Everybody, girl, if it's wrong, it's wrong, niece. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I distribute my smoke evenly over here, niece. Yes, that's wrong. Who was 20 years younger than him? Kanye West recently just married a woman 20 years younger. Why do you... Why do you keep up with all that's that's not what you do? Uh, that's not what you niece. You were not a commentary slash reaction channel, niece. That's not your team, and you are very you are telling on yourself. Now, later on in this vlog, she says, y'all know I don't have a lot of time in my day. Uh, it's just a, a short window, and then I got to pick the kids up. And I, you know why you don't have time throughout your day to be productive while the kids is at school? Because you sitting in your car eating food uh, with your phone in your other hand, going through uh, uh, Rick Ross, Ari, uh, Joey, uh, um, excuse me, Joy, uh, Drea, Moneybag, Jada Waiter, Lil Baby, Baddies East, Roly, Natalie Nunn, because you're going through all their Instagrams of feeds, being in all of their damn business. This is why you really don't have time to prepare these damn meals early on in the day. You ain't got time to put on old nasty crock pot meal. You get, you get what I'm saying? 
You don't got time to go home and shower after a fake gym workout. None of that. You don't have any time. You don't have time to go to the grocery store, run errands. None of that because you sitting in your car eating. You in everybody else's business. Now don't I'm it's different for me, niece. I'm gonna tell you, you know why it's different for me? Because this is what I do. This is what my channel is geared around. I'm in y'all business and I put my spin on it. This is what I do. This is not what you do. So this is weird. You supposed to be vlogging your life. You can't even live your life. You can't even you it's shit you could be doing while the kids is at school. This is why we can't get no dinner. This is why when we pick the ski the kids up from basketball practice at six, seven o'clock at night, we got to run them by Chick-fil-A, grab them a meal, or we about to run out to the house and cook some turkey tacos, which ain't gonna be ready till about midnight. Chum. Why why do y'all care when women do it, but not when men do it? I just don't. Mm. And somebody gonna say, oh, it's because a man's brain isn't fully developed and this and that. Who the hell gonna say a man's brain ain't fully developed? Who gonna say some shit like that? Gina, that's stupid. Niece, that's stupid. Now, I was happy to see you. You had lost a little bit of weight. I was happy to be back on this side with the good old entertainment where we know that you know it's entertainment and you're not in damn denial. I was happy. I said, good, niece done lost a few pounds over here. And then you get in and then you piss me off. We can't never have, a, this is why we can't have nothing nice. This is why we can't never have nothing nice. Because every time I give you a compliment and then we start to get on the up and up, you do something like this. You say some stupid stuff. Because this is all very much so stupid. And then after you're done eating this salad and these grilled nuggets and then in the back seat when you turn off the camera, you, right back here. She got a, a a KFC box of chicken. That's why she slipped and said KFC earlier. Because behind this seat back here, she got some um that 22 year old she got a, a box of kfc chicken and some mashed potatoes and gravy oh making million dollar deals signing contracts i'm sure he's had to grow up faster than your average 22 year old and i'm sure he's gonna be a great father i was broke at 16 me and my baby daddy was broke busted and disgusted at 16 but guess what we were great parents to our child at 16. <sighs> Everybody just, I'm tired. Y'all want to, y'all want to just leave. <laughs> we could just leave out now. I'm, are you condoning underage pregnancy? <laughs> what, what are you saying? <laughs> Gina, can you please go on another vacation? What are we talking about? You was like, huh? So what are you saying? What are we saying, these? How? So you mean you had a house, a job, a career, all of that? Baby, Shawnee said, niece, you were 12. I mean, she said 16. I said, oh, wait a minute, niece. Now, now Gina, you doing too much. You, 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 this girl, you feeling yourself 16? Oh, you to push the age up, but that's your business. Uh, uh Gina. What are you? What's the, what are you? What are you telling these people? What do you want? That you saying that twenty two? If you have money, you're going to be a phenomenal parent as long as you have money. Gina, you have a little bit of a coin too, right? Let you tell it. You said that you're a self proclaimed millionaire, and did you see that the girl? Girl, we see how it goes over here with you and motherhood. We see that. We see that. We got the car facts. Money don't make everything. Team. We were great parents. So I'm sure that millionaire 22 year old is going to be a great father too. Let's focus on that. I just really hate the when men do it is never an issue. 50 Cent was just dating a girl. I think she's like over 20 years younger than him too. Y'all applaud all that when men do it, but when women do it, it's uh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. I could never. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Gina said because she's ready to get down for the crime. She down to get done and she ready to see what maybe she could find her a little young something and then she'd be ready to go. Women get the hardest judgment. It's so crazy. Women Gina, get they said stop playing with this salad and then you know you ain't gonna eat it. You ready? You want you old nasty hog play. Where my shit at? Gina, we know what you want. Oh, baby, I just be leaving these comments up here. Uh chum. I got to be remembering to take the comments down because they be sitting up here, baby. Y'all need to say something. When I be having these comments just riding out through here, why y'all say nothing? 
Y'all messy as hell. Uh, Gina, where's my where's my hog plate? Uh, for you, cause you know, big hog plate. <laughs> You know, big hog plate. Jenny, we know you want to have your old nasty uh, hog plate and all of that. You want to get that to going over there. Quit playing with this damn salad. We, you, we know you got you a three-piece in the back. You got you a three-piece back there. We already know. With a biscuit, you you got mashed potatoes back there. I already know. Oh, Gina, did you get the apple Did you get the apple pie from... Uh, uh, I don't think they got apple pie. Never mind, Jenny. Judge so hard for everything that is why i live my life by the beat of my own drum and i don't give a fuck whoa baby whoa oh niece oh niece if it's one thing mimi knows you don't give a damn baby that, that baby i'm tell y'all right now that is the one reason why i rock with gina the way i rock with gina gina don't give a damn and she don't care who say what i don't care Gina does not give a F. And I don't think it's on purpose. That's the sad part. That's it ain't even on purpose that she don't give a F. Baby, but she just do what she go hit record. Uh yeah, then turn it off when it's done. Uh throw in a few little edits and hit that upload button and sit back and let the good times damn roll. Jenny, you never had to tell us that you didn't give a F. We been knew that, niece. What the American dream is and how it's supposed to go. So baby, I am living life, eat my kale salad. <laughs> I'm living life, eat my kale salad right now. And then when I turn this camera off. I'm finna tear down on this KFC. Jenny, did you get the grilled or the fried KFC? Sure. That Colonel special be good, don't it, niece? Hmm. Oh, the judgment is just crazy. How much more time? I Didn't you just sit in this car and judge? Didn't she just judge? Didn't Gina just judge and say, if you. Girl, if you ugly and you don't got your body done, you jealous. Isn't that what Gina just set her ass in here and did? That's why I said she's a reactor. She just sat in the pit. She just, that's what she did. And not even a reactor, because, girl, you got to learn how to. Gina, never mind. Just, I don't even know how the hell to say it, girl. Hell, I'm damn, I'm confused as hell. You made me confused. Gina, we know you're not going to finish that salad, niece. And we know you did. Well, you know what? You could have went to the gym, niece. You could have went. We don't have the Carfax where you went in the gym, so. My God. I got less than an hour. Okay, y'all. I just want to talk to y'all real quick. Bye. Less than an hour after you. See, she feel, y'all, look. She said, let me put this shit down because I'm going to go back here and get, and get my uh, chicken. She said, I got less than an hour. After you eat this, you're going to go walk around this parking lot back here. Oh, no. She, girl, she finna pull up that KFC. Enjoyed my little meal. I'm supposed to cook dinner tonight, too. I'm planning to cook dinner. Some shrimp pasta. I left the house to go take um, Ashton to practice. I see Ethan then ordered some DoorDash. Boy. Yeah, because his mama don't cook. And when she do, yeah, I'm tired of oxtails. <laughs> I'm tired of oxtails. Shit out of here. <laughs> I'm taking matters in my own hands. <laughs> this lady can't cook. <laughs> Can you please go on vacation and damn stay? Take me to my abuela's house. You can't cook. Oxtails tacos. Oxtails tacos. Oxtails tacos. Baked chicken. Baked chicken. Oxtails tacos. Baked chicken. Get out the kitchen. Didn't Mimi tell you to get a chef? Mama, I hate it. <laughs> or is you even going to be hungry when I cook tonight? No, that's the point, genius. <laughs> that, that's why he's eating. You can't cook. You can't cook, niece. 
That's the point. I'm eating now because I'm not eating that shit later on. I'm full. Out of Wendy's four for four because your ass go, girl. Uh, girl, you can't cook. Talking about you ain't going to be hungry later when I cook. That ding, ding, ding. You got it. Ding, ding, ding. You can't cook. Girl. Gina, what you just, girl. Man, I'll probably be a little bit hungry because this is just really light. I mean, this is a light meal. I'll probably eat just a little bit, but you know, if the kids, if I, if I go home and before I start cooking, I'm going to ask them, are y'all going to eat dinner? Are y'all going to actually eat this? If they're not going to eat, I'm going to You cake. I'll save it for tomorrow to make. And they order DoorDash tomorrow too. That's why I never took my shrimp out. My shrimp's still frozen. Because I know how my kids will do. I'll get home, eat them, I'll be asleep. And won't wake up till <laughs> one o'clock in the morning. You know, something crazy. One o'clock in the morning? <laughs> He said, shit, forget this. I'm eating my food and I'm putting myself to sleep. I'm asleep all the way through the cooking. So I ain't got to bear with it. Then I'm going to wake up at one o'clock in the morning, sneak downstairs and make some cereal, baby. He get to creeping downstairs. He hear his, uh, baby, he hear his mama on the phone because, you know, she be on the phone with Wolf. Wolf worked the, the, the third shift at Quick Trip. She on the phone with Wolf. Chum. Ashton might come home and fall asleep in the car, and then once we get home, she'll work, crawl in her bed and go back to sleep. So, no structure. Y'all look the freeze frame. No structure, none at all. Ain't this why I told your ass that you need to start cooking ahead of time instead of stuffing your face in your car and seeing what the damn Aries and Jadas and and uh, a girl, the Meg, the Stallions, and seeing what all of them got going on. Ain't this why I told you, Gina, put on a crock pot? Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna yeah, make unnecessary trip. dishes if I don't got you. Yeah, we're gonna watch this and then we're gonna get out of here because I think this is funny. Y'all, Gina the slim down niece. Come through, niece. You the you the slim down good. I look not, so I'll be putting these in the oven when the kids are ready to eat. And that is that we'll probably eat. Now, where she get this meal from? Because we ain't never seen her make nothing like this, baby. Lady T Buck said it's the black. Man, that big old pack of shrimp might make hardly anything. Mm-mm. Oh Lord, girl, where is your, what is this back here? Why is this on the front of the eye? Put it back, Gina. You ain't got nothing up here. Cause what the gla Oh God, she works my anxiety with this cooking. She works my anxiety. Ugh. Yeah. I'm sorry, H-E-B makes some of the nastiest tomato, what is it, spaghetti sauce, tomato, the nastiest. I shop at H-E-B. I know, been there, done there. It's gross. It be watery. I don't like it. You got to doctor it up and I'll let who the hell got time for that. Gina, what, a girl, that, who is the, that Emeralds brand? I forgot that's that's some good pasta sauce. This shit here nasty. Y'all forgot to take the tails off these damn shrimp. So that's why y'all see me over here burning my damn fingers because I already just tossed all of it in this damn pot. Too busy worried about what they doing on the internet. Do y'all see what she did? Uh, she didn't put these fingers back. Gina, what are you doing with the tails? You putting the tails back in there? What's going on with the tails, Gina? Oh, shit. Yeah, with her raw hand. Then she said, oh, shit. Huh. That's interesting, Gina. That's interesting to me. I'm not surprised, but that's interesting. And why do you have, uh, what are you making? What kind of shit is this? What, what's going on over here? What What did you make? Ugh. Ugh. Baby, I be to order some damn DoorDash, too. Ugh. 
That is good. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's good to who? To who? Cha, you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Hey, y'all, dinner is done. We just did a little shrimp pasta. Super easy. Y'all saw the uh, sauce that I used, tomato and alfredo sauce. I doctored it up. Used some heavy whipping I told you. Didn't I tell you? I told you that you was going to have to doctor this up. That's why she put that heavy whipping cream in there. And then that's nasty. Ugh, you put heavy whipping cream in there to try to make it thicker because it's thin. Gina's cheap. Gina is cheap. Everything, every H-E-B brand shit is not good. Y'all, she put a heavy, he, hold on. Heavy whipping cream go in there? I thought heavy whipping cream go, uh, Gina, I thought that go with, with the butter and the minced garlic. I thought you used that when you're making the homemade Alfredo. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Y'all, wait a minute. <laughs> I low-key, I low-key want to see the end result. Uh-oh, Gina. I want to see the end result. And cream with it and some Parmesan cheese. Season it up, season my shrimp up real good, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, that's done. You ain't got to season them shrimp up, baby. It's that damn sauce over here. That sauce nasty as hell. Jennifer yeah. recommended garlic knots. She said, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer <sighs> recommended garlic knots. What was she, what was you doing? Asking her on the phone what you should, what you, what happened? Jenna called, hey, girl, what you doing? Uh, oh, nothing, bestie at work. What's going on? Uh, girl, help me find a meal to cook for these kids because uh, uh, Mimi and her nosy ass over there, her jealous ass viewers, they be all in my business. Uh, they said I can't cook, Jennifer. Oh, that's right, friend. I mean, you make a good oxtail. What's going on? Uh, recommend a meal for me to cook because, girl, I'm tired of them being in my business. Oh, okay. Um, you should do a nice uh, shrimp pasta. Oh, okay, girl. So shrimp pasta and then give me some, some Texas toast, some garlic toast. No, do garlic knots. Do garlic knots. Oh, okay, because I'm finna show them that I really can cook. Gina, niece, go back and tell Jennifer oh, that you put that heavy whipping cream in that dab, uh, the tomato pasta, the, the, the shit over here. That's nasty as hell, Gina. Ooh, that's gross. My stomach low-key turned. Somebody said the oxtails be uh watery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She don't. Gina, you know what? You should do you shop at all these Aldi's be having some good sauce too. We'll call it chomp. Aldi's be having some good sauce too. So I'll be putting these in the oven when the kids are ready to eat. And that is that. We'll probably eat leftovers tomorrow too. Yeah, real quick, easy, simple. I think I was done in 15 minutes. Like legit. Child, uh, Houston, LaQuisha, Texas. Girl, uh, bye. She done pissed me off. You done had your ass over that Platt's channel too long. How the hell you gonna take Platt whole damn that? That's what Platt calls Dallas. <sighs> Child, Gina the damn pissed me off over here. Do you hear me? Done pissed me off. Y'all, we had a time over here, didn't we? We it's 776 of y'all in here. And I know y'all finna go back to wherever y'all meeting spots is and talk y'all shit. And I don't care. Um, she too rich to shop at Aldi. That's where her ass needs to be going. Now, uh, Gina, don't go. Don't go. We don't want you to go. Um, girl, yeah, she made me mad. Cause girl, we ain't we don't really even be talking about uh uh plat like that. Plat got no, uh, uh Gina, Gina, stay from over there. Anywho, y'all, that is our time for the night. It's 774. Y'all nosy asses up in here. Y'all came over here to be nosy. I know that's all it was. Um, but I greatly, greatly appreciate y'all for coming over and spending the time with me. So welcome to all of my new King Demonians. Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I hope you love it here. To all of my returning subs, y'all, thanks for the love. And all the people who come to my comments to say, this is so negative. All you do is comment and critique. It's a commentary channel, you dummy. Like, how are you dumb? All you do is is commentary and talk about other channels. You ding 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 ding. You got it. You got it. 
So y'all like it, love it, sub it, use your magnes, drop down in a comment. So I'ma chop it up with y'all on the next one. Good night. I'ma do whatever content I wanna do. If you don't like it, you just don't like it. You'll get over it. You don't run nothing over here, sis.